All right, Leo, what's going on? I hope everybody is doing well this early, early, early morning. Okay, it is 3.30 in the morning. Although I may wait till later on to post this, but it is early. All right, then messages for Leo. What's the BS going on around them? Someone is spying on you. Using divination tools to pry into your personal life for their advantage. Leo, so you got somebody being nosy. Is your life that interesting that they have to figure out what you're doing? Instead of asking, someone here is possibly going to tarot readings and things like that. They could be going to, you know, um, a high priestess or a reader or something like that, um, you know, to try and get uh, info on what's going on with you. And it's because they are jealous. Someone is jealous of who you are and the accomplishments that you've made okay so they're oh golly you got somebody watching everything that you do here sweetheart and it's really a trip because they need to go get a life why are they watching you instead of focusing on what they should be doing my god somebody may be uh trying to attack your financial uh situation here as well Financial attack. Someone is attacking you spiritually to negatively affect your finances here. Leo, you could be making money. I don't know. You could have a great job, great career. Maybe you got a side hustle here. Someone here is a major trip. It said love spells. Someone is casting love spells to win your love. Love attack. Someone is attacking your love relationships. They want to disrupt all areas of your love life, platonic and romantic. So you have someone here that possibly has a mental illness here, sweetheart. I'm going to just keep it 100 with you because what the hell? All right. This person is trying to win your affection and they're trying to deter everybody else and everything else from you here. They're jealous of your money. They're trying to stop that as well. They're watching you, stalking you. That says a little bit of mental insanity. I'm just saying here. All right. Give me one more, please. I got two. Mm. Vampire. Someone is siphoning your energy for their own advantage. Leo, who is this, honey? So tied, you are in a so I'm sorry, you are so tied to someone and finding it hard to release this connection. All right, so Leo, if you find yourself thinking about a person all the time, can't get this person off of your mind, uh, maybe obsessing over this person, somebody may be doing some spell work on you to kind of keep them stuck on you or keep you stuck on them. All right. Um, <clears throat> especially if you've been intimate with this person, you may just have a soul tie with this person, okay? So you're going to have to try to break this here, all right? Keep yourself, sp uh, I was going to say sprayed up. Oh, my God. Prayed up. Um, clear your energy. Cleanse your energy. If you know who this is, stay the hell away from them, okay? If this is an ex of yours... If you don't have to deal with this person, don't deal with this person. Uh, me personally, this is just a personal thing of mine. You do you. But I don't accept gifts and things like that from someone that I know that has ill intent for me or has had ill intent for me. Like for instance, I had an ex send a gift to me. A little bag or whatever the hell it was. A tote bag. About a month or two ago. I don't want that. I don't want anything from you. Because for one, I know that person has ulterior motives. You understand what the hell are you giving me shit for? That went right into the dumpster, okay? Like, literally, because for one, sometimes you never know who's going, uh, doing spell work and things like that. And um, <clears throat> sometimes people will go and have certain things blessed or prayed over or whatever by certain people and want to give it to you. And you may start to notice that certain things are going wrong in your life. Absolutely not. No, sir. No, ma'am. I don't want anything from you. I'm cool. We good. No hard feelings, but I'm straight. All right, there's that. So just be mindful of people giving you things, especially if it's someone that you know 
um, has treated you in a way in the past or you know that person does not particularly, you know, they're not cool with you. You use your discernment here as well, okay? Because somebody here has an issue with you and they want to stop everything that you have going on in your life and they want your attention. That's crazy. Alright, and it says energy, healing energy work. The work you have done on yourself has worked. The negative energy is dissipating. Like I said, it looks like to me, Leo, you're not feeding into this BS here to me. It looks like you see what's going on. You may feel this energy here as well. You may be rebuking it, blocking it, sending it back. Alright, look at this. A legion of demonic spirits have been dispatched to attack you through the people around you, okay? So, it may not only be this person. It may be a few people, okay? And if it is just this person, this person is kind of filled with a lot of... A lot of entities. So, in other words, this person could be very malicious, very vindictive. This person could be someone that is... Uh, they may come off like an incubus or a succubus, very uh, sexual with you or things like that. This person could have a lot of vices and, you know, um, I'm just saying there could be addictions and, and things like that. There could be drugs, porn, all kind of things, alcoholism, drugs. You know, this person could have some mental issues as we see here. This person is studying you too, a little bit too much. Too much in your energy here, sweetheart, okay? So this person's got some things going on with them and they, they're carrying a lot of stuff within them, okay? Got to be careful who you lay down with as well. Alright, so let's see. Give me more messages about this situation, please. And thank you. Dang. Golly, messy. They want to throw hands with you, but don't make a move. Okay, so, in other words, this person's got some real problems with you. This is somebody that possibly wants to get into a physical altercation with you, sweetheart. And you know what I get here, Leo, is that it's possibly that this person sees something in you, something very good that they don't possess in themselves, and that jealousy... <clears throat> Is possibly making them want to, you know, physically harm you. You know, it's really weird how some people are like, you know, I can't stand so-and-so. You may not even know this person, you know. And they just don't like you for whatever it, reason it is. And maybe it's because they see something in you that they don't possess themselves, okay. And they want to beat it out of you and make you feel just as miserable as they do, okay. And it says delusional. They actually think that they are right for their bad actions and will try to validate themselves. Alright. Rejuvenate. It's time for you to recharge. Absolutely stay away from this person. Okay. Especially if you know who they are. It says the best revenge is no revenge at all. Move on respectfully. Absolutely balancing your heart here. Not giving this person any of your energy at all. Not even to curse them out. Just look at them. Oh, poor Tink Tink. That's got to be very miserable how you're living your life there, boo. All right. Just literally, you so dissatisfied with yourself and so disappointed in your own achievements and things there or lack thereof that you have to go after other people that are minding their business living their life very happily it's a sad soul right there right all right it says higher power the universe is handling it right now pay attention to the signs you see all right, this, uh, uh, sorry, the universe is handling it right now. Pay attention to the signs to see what must be done next, okay? So, in other words, Source is going to enlighten you on some of these things. If it's, if it's a need-to-know thing, then Source will let you know exactly what you need to know. But I'm going to put it to you like this. Source is going to put a path in front of you in order for you to curb that person, all right? There's that. Uh, what they have planned for you will not work unless you feed into this energy here. Um, like I said, rebuke it, block it, delete it, mute it, do whatever you got to do. But don't deal with this person here and just move on, all right? Whoever this is, they're about to face some real bad karma. Or should I say more bad karma? Somebody here doesn't learn their lessons. They're very messy here. Jealousy, spiteful here, okay? I'm just saying, and you reap what you sow. 
So anyway, next vis next victim, they will move on to the next person to bad mouth and become obsessed with. So Leo, just give it time, sweetheart. This person will find another hobby, another subject to deal with. You understand what I'm saying? It kind of looks like this is just how this person rolls in life. Okay, so you have someone here that is just a hater of a lot of people. All right. It seems to me. That deep down, this person doesn't like who they are at all. You understand? And they're not willing to change. But they want to tear down other people that are happy. That are, you know, living their best life or whatever. Just doing something differently. You have someone that is literally um, envious of others. That's crazy. You ever seen one of those people that, you know, are just really negative all the time? They don't never have nothing nice to say. And they they may not say anything. And there's a specific sign that I know that does this. And I ain't going to say anything. But I've seen this out of a few of them, as a matter of fact. And they won't say anything, but they'll sit back. And if you watch them closely... If something good is happening in somebody else's life or someone else is getting uh, celebrated, these people will literally squint their eyes just very subtly. But squint their eyes, roll their eyes when they think you're not looking or whatever. But the hate is real here, sweetheart. This is the type of person that you have, all right? They're looking at the things that are going on in your life, not only your life, but in the lives of others. And this is someone that's very bitter, very cynical here, all right? And this is someone that will gossip and find other people to gossip to. And they will tear you down or try to, you understand? Try to make you look bad in the eyes of others. This is someone that is very, very malicious, okay? But as God will see it, um, the people who are aligned with this person's energy will possibly believe this person. Those that are of higher vibration will see exactly what this person is doing, okay? And they will see that this person has ill intent and that the problem is not you. It's actually this person, okay? You ever seen someone that sits there and they talk about somebody so bad and you may be believing this person, but then all of a sudden you realize that this person is literally chasing behind this person, keeping tabs on them to see what they, you know, what this person has going on in their life, you know? And you realize that, you know what, no, it's not the person that you're talking about. It's you. You're the one that's got this problem. This other person is minding their business. They're not even thinking about you. It's this person with the problem, okay? So this is a scenario that you're dealing with here. This person is very jealous, very vindictive, hateful as a matter of fact. And not only towards you, but towards themselves as well. I bet you this person has a very reckless life, all right? So... It says, overactive solar. It says, they regret it, but they refuse to show it. So, whatever they've done, whatever they said, they regret their actions and things like that. And then, guess what? Uh, I think more of it is going to come up for them because they're being, being very malicious here. And it kind of seems like, to me, you're not even dealing with this person. And they're all in your business and everything else. They could be recruiting people as well. People are weird. There's some weird ass people out here. So you just continue to do what you're doing. Live your best life healing. Um, I don't know why. I just said fasting. Someone here may be fasting. Okay. Wow. Or maybe you need to. To clear your energy. Oh Lord. This person would really be upset. You do that. Look let me tell you something mess around and get into serious prayer and fast and ask source to take this situation away from you and watch and see what happens literally ask this person ask God to remove this person from your life protect you from your energies and fast with it hmm. watch it happen I'm just saying and do it with a pure intent you understand you tap into the most high and ask the God to protect you from your enemies here. You're already well protected here, but I'm just saying, be serious about it. All right, you have a connection with this person. Like it says, a soul tie here. You have a past life connection with this person. 
for whatever reason. Cold hearted. Mm. Could be somebody that is a liar. This could be somebody that is actually, you know, spreading rumors about you as well. You know, what's weird is because I had a weird ass Taurus in my life that just recently kind of tried to hit me up. That literally, like when I first started my channel, would literally call me with dumb shit on the phone and would have other people on three way. If you don't grow the hell up, you got some childish ass people like that, you know. And then, when you cut them off, they try to come back. People are weird. Weird, weird, weird as hell. You understand? For whatever reasons. Okay? And I don't know why I mentioned that. But anywho, I just thought it was weird that you would actually show back up after being weird. I don't know. This is somebody that is, oh, it says unstable and dangerous. All right, this person maybe this could be somebody that you left behind in the past. I don't know. Maybe somebody that you were dealing with in the past and you're no longer dealing with this person is mentally unstable. All right, you may, may need to uh, have some protection against this person here or whatever. And then also protect your ears from from negative feedback from this person okay uh someone here may try to trigger you as well you may be friends with this person on social media or have um connections together like you know people in common here and there may be gossip rumors and things like that posts that you may see don't let that mess with you here this person may be trying to affect your finances here so you may be having some financial issues i don't know or maybe this person is spying on you to see if you're having any financial issues they're also keeping tabs on you watching to see if you're in a connection here as well all right and you may have dealt with this person for a minute and it may have been you know no growth in this connection here as well and this person is trying to you know, uh, stop whatever progress you've got going on in your life here. You, this person is really weird. <clears throat> Give me messages about this person, please, and thank you. Stable. Mm, this person is fixated on you. Eavesdropping. They're listening, ear hustling, trying to get the scoop, the skinny, or whatever it is. You're living rent-free in this person's head. They can't get you off their mind. And somehow or another, you have triggered this person. Somebody got some mental health issues here, sweetheart. Okay? I would say run. Run. Blocking finances. Yeah, see, I'm telling you, somebody here, a tyrant. Cruel and oppressive victim mentality. Okay, so this person feels like you have hurt them in some way. And they're trying to play the victim here. They're really, uh, damn, a tyrant. They're not fair. They're, they don't take accountability for their actions here as well. All right, let's see. This person is really overbearing. Looks like you are cutting ties with this person as well. But somehow or another, this person can't cut ties with you. They have some unhealthy attachment, unhealthy obsession for you as well. And they're drawn to you for whatever reason, okay? And somehow or another, they are sending you an evil, evil eye. This person may be doing spell work. They might be a kitchen witch or something like that. Or maybe this person is going to a spiritual practitioner, okay? I just heard that this person might be actually Googling spell work. Okay, sweetheart, you better stop if you don't know what the hell you're doing. If you don't know what the hell you're doing, you better stop conjuring up stuff. Okay, you're going to wake up in the middle of the night and somebody's standing over your bed and you're not going to know who that person is. Okay, but you done conjured some stuff. You better quit it. All right, so it looks like this person is kind of strategizing, trying to come towards your way. And again, they are triggered, but they're not showing how triggered they are. Smoke and mirrors here, okay? There's that. All right, and you are the object of the sexual desire for this person. So you got a love-hate situation going on with this person. They are very, very, uh, I want to say disturbed. 
somebody's got some problems. And they go deeper than you than you see. Give me messages here. Alright, stop pretending impersonator pretends to know what they are doing. Like I said, they do not, especially if this person is doing spell work. They don't know what they're doing here, sweetheart. They don't have a clue and they need to stop. Matter of fact, this person may be living their whole life like that recklessly. They don't know what they're doing here. Alright, so this person... Hmm, literally. This person might be going to someone... Uh, a practitioner here. This person knows that you have a good heart and they lean on that too. That you're loving and caring. This person is expecting that you will forgive them for whatever they've done in the past. But looks like you are like, you know what, keep your distance. All right. Unwilling to forgive or excuse uh, their faults. Okay. And this is another thing about this person too. They're unforgiving as well. All right. You're not forgiving this person for what they've done. In other words, you forgive, but they're not letting you're not letting this person back into your life. Let me put it this way. This person holds grudges. All right. This might be somebody that's very superficial here as well. And they don't take accountability. All right. All right. So never thinks that they are wrong, will never admit to their wrongdoings, or simply a badass bitch. And that's not a good thing. An undercover hoe popped up here. All right, so she plays nice, but bro, she wants your, I'm just saying. All right, so I'm going to put it to you like this. This is somebody that is very, very attracted to you. All right, you may have rejected this person. I don't know, or maybe they feel like you have, and this person is now playing victim here okay um if you rejected this person this person is like really holding that against you and they're unforgiving about the situation okay they know that you you know a very loving caring passionate person but this person is not understanding why you're setting boundaries with them why are you pushing them away? It's possibly because you know that this person is promiscuous. You know that this person wants to go there with you and it's a no for you. All right. And also, you may have picked up that this person is very vindictive, very selfish here. Self-centered. Well, selfish and self-centered is the same thing, but I'm just saying, you know. And you may also realize that someone here is not really wrapped too tight. All right. Alright, this person, this could be somebody that does have an arrest record as well. I'm just saying. I don't know what that's about, but you might want to check that out, alright? So, let's see. Let's get some more messages about this situation, please. And thank you for Leo. Sneaky fake profiles hiding from you behind the scenes on social media. Alright, so you got a stalker. You got a stalker guarded. My walls are up. This is somebody that, oh, godly. This is somebody that their heart is, is literally closed off. But this is so weird. Like I said, this person is a little cuckoo. Uh, just a little bit. All right. They're mad because you're not engaging with them. But this person's blocked oh lord have mercy anything else anything else this person feels like you two could have been we could have had it all I'm hearing Adele all right could have been a power couple glowing up together threes a cloud a cloud oh my god threes a crowd entertaining multiple people okay so Somebody here is really a hoe. And they got a lot of baggage here. A lot of baggage. Here it shows children, but it might not be children. I think this person has a lot of mental issues here. Alright? You might be some sort of, of, of sense of, give them a sense of uh, stability. This person's got a lot, a lot of stuff going on with them. They feel resentment over this situation. They're still trying to have faith that this connection is going to come together or they're going to get what they want. This person is in hot pursuit of you too, okay? So, 
I'm getting by any means necessary. So this person is trying to get you in their life by any means necessary. Spell work, blocking, whatever it is that you got going on. This is a love-hate relationship. Alright, so it kind of seems like... you ever seen one of those people that are jealous of their partner? It kind of seems like this. Alright, it says, I need to figure myself out. Yeah, you do, honey. You, somebody needs some work. Painful memories. Okay, so I, I think... It's not only for this connection here, Leo. This person has some stuff going on that they need to um, they need to work on. And it says, I'm scared of rejection. Yeah, and this is why they're fixated on this situation. But they do stuff to get rejected. Again, they need to work on themselves, right? All right, I long for your kiss. You got somebody that's kind of obsessing with you here, sweetheart, but they got some problems. And they know they have problems, okay? And they know they need to figure this out. But someone here is so used to dealing with their dysfunction. And they might have a twisted way of thinking about situations too. Especially because they don't take accountability for their actions. And they blame shift here. But you got somebody that's doing spell work. They're stalking. They're jealous. You understand what I'm saying? That's a, a recipe for disaster, okay? Like literally, all right? It says, life without you is hopeless and dark and depressing. I miss your light. You got an energy vampire here. All right? There's that. They will never compare to you. So, the trippy thing is, is that it kind of seems like to me that this person is still dating multiple people or dating multiple people. I won't say still. But it kind of looks like to me that this person is comparing everyone that they've been with to you. All right, so that's unhealthy with in itself, because for one, you're not giving the other people, um, you know, uh, valid chances here. So, yeah. Anyway, Leo. Oh no. Let's see. I don't know. There, there's nothing I really want to pull from here, honey. Because this, this right here is a mess. Give me messages for Leo in this situation. I would say run. Don't look back. God. Mm. Where are you? Do I see you? Don't. I think I put him up. Give me messages for Leo for this situation. What did I do with them? What did I do with them? Oh, here they are. Alright, so it says, what you have been through can only make you stronger. The worst is over. Be careful of self-sabotage. You can self-sabotage yourself by dealing with this person again, okay? This situation is fraught with deception. It is, alright? Because... Somebody is deceiving you. They're deceiving themselves too as well. Somebody's like in the background doing some ish. Refrain from judgments. We are all unique and experienced in life in our own ways. Allow um, allow others their journey. Their journey. Yeah. So, I don't know. I don't know. I'm judging the hell out of this person. Because somebody a little something, something crazy. Alright, let's see. Let's get the signs of who this may be. Give me signs who this may be dealing with. Leo. Oh. Leo, you can have an Aquarius here. Okay, so this could be Aquarius, a Sagittarius, or a Taurus. Hmm. That's crazy because I just said Taurus earlier, didn't I? Isn't that nice? Uh, anything else here? Anybody else here with this crazy energy? A Pisces. Or it could be Pisces. Pisces is a water sign. So there's that, Leo. This is what I got for you. Be careful. Hide your wife. Hide your kids. <laughs> Just saying. Whatever that dude said in that mean, sweetheart. But you be careful of this person. 
Because this person is a mad trip and a half, okay? And they are fixated on you for whatever reason, sweetheart, okay? But uh, this seems like a personal problem, a personal mental problem. And we're going to go ahead and let them have that, okay? Because well, I ain't got time for that. I ain't got time for that. <laughs> All right, bye.